E-voting raises some of the most difficult challenges in the field of computer security. E-voting is a really hard security problem because of its unusual requirements. We need two things in a secure e-voting system above all else. One of them is integrity. And by integrity, I mean that the outcome of the election matches the voters' intent. This is a relatively weak definition of integrity. Let's just at least say that the right guy wins. This means, of course, that votes have to be cast as voters intended and that the election result has to be counted as the votes are cast. But the second requirement, and the reason that this is more complicated than other problems that we more routinely solve, things like banking online and making uh, purchases in electronic commerce, is we also have this requirement for ballot secrecy. Right, the secret ballot, which is one of the most important technological advances in the history of election technology, the secret ballot, the thing that protects you from being coerced into voting a certain way and protects us from you uh, selling your ballot. The secret ballot says that no one can figure out how you voted, even if you try to prove to them how you voted. This is what we want to prevent people from being coerced and prevent them from selling ballots. And the reason that e-voting is a difficult problem is largely that these two properties, integrity and ballot secrecy, are in tension. Many defenses that we might normally try to uh, use to increase integrity, things like we do in electronic commerce to send people a receipt or a bank statement, or to do accounting where we uh, have just a, a big table where all the money in and out uh, is totaled and we make sure they're in agreement. These things are very, very difficult or impossible to implement if we want to maintain a secret ballot in a strong form at the same time as we're trying to preserve integrity. So we need very different mechanisms to achieve an e-voting system that provides these critical properties. Now, of course, that hasn't stopped people from building electronic voting systems, and many countries around the world use e-voting or, or, or are starting to try internet voting.